Gulfstream has a new addition to its family of large, long-range business jets with the introduction of the G700 model on the eve of the 2019 NBAA show in Las Vegas. The US manufacturer believes its new flagship model will give it an edge over close rivals when it enters service from 2022. The G700 will be able to fly eight passengers up to 7,500 nautical miles, connecting New York with cities such as Dubai, Tokyo, and Beijing. The aircraft goes head-to-head -head with Bombardier's latest Global 7500, which can actually fly 200 nautical miles further. This will be the largest airplane we've ever built, uh, the widest airplane, the tallest cabin, the longest cabin in the industry, truly unique cockpit, uh, reminiscent of the development work we've done on G500 and 600, so we'll be adding active control side sticks, touch screens throughout the, uh, the cockpit of the airplane. We're adding data concentration. It'll have an all new Rolls Royce engine. Uh, and again, a very unique cabin that incorporates an ultra galley that really turns the galley into a living space, uh, adds a, an aft stateroom with an area that's very functional, very flexible, beds, divans, seats, uh, whatever you want in the aft section of the airplane. We've focused significant attention on the, the cabin itself, but the technology in the cabin. It will be the quietest airplane we've ever built. It will be the most connected airplane we have ever built. It's certainly the biggest and largest we've ever built, but we thought through the user experience and how to maintain and keep those uh, cabin components reliable. So it will truly be a unique experience over anything we've built before. Externally, the G700 is set apart from its predecessors by its new winglets, which will boost aerodynamic performance. The design features 20 of the same large windows seen on the existing G650 model, bringing plenty of natural light into the cabin, which is just over 10 feet longer. As part of major aerospace and defense group General Dynamics, Gulfstream has been able to tap engineering expertise from other fields, cross-pollinating solutions developed for other products to improve its latest aircraft. One of the ideas as we were looking to quiet down uh, aircraft was also to look at how submarines kept noise out. Uh, and several of the engineers that worked on future submarines are actually helped us as well on, uh, on airplanes and reducing that noise. And these cabins that we will build for G700 will be the quietest we've ever built and the quietest in the industry. Gulfstream has focused energy not only on making the G700's five-zone cabin look better than what's come before, but also on making every aspect of how the aircraft is used by passengers and crew function better. The new data concentration network is the key to these improvements. The data concentration network is really an advanced network for all the airplane systems to talk to each other. Um, traditionally, uh, we've used just basically single wire that we run singles, signals through. The data concentration network is really a internet-based type approach where on one wire you can have multiple signals at the same time and that allows us to reduce the wire weight in the airplane and in increase our range and fuel efficiency, but it also allows us to uh, make the airplane very flexible. With a, uh, a network designed in this way, um, the network can adapt to new systems if you want uh, when the time comes for upgrade, but it can also, you can program functions into the network that do things that like make the customer, the cabin attendant, and even the pilot's jobs easier by automating steps for them that normally they would have to do themselves. Improved performance will also be driven by the new Pearl 700 engines that Rolls-Royce has developed for the G700. It's an uh, all-new engine for this uh, airplane. It's um, uh, very fuel efficient, has 8% more thrust than the BR725 that's on the uh, G650. It's uh, 3 to 5% more fuel efficient uh, than the 725. It meets uh, uh, CAPE-6 uh, uh, nitrous oxide um, emission standards and uh, stage 5 noise. It's a great engine and uh, it's gonna be uh, a, a blast to fly. And in the G700 cockpit, pilots will find the Symmetry flight deck featuring the active control side sticks introduced on the smaller G500-600 aircraft. Also new in the cockpit is Gulfstream's predictive landing performance system, which improves safety on approach and landing by continuously showing pilots the aircraft's stopping point. Based on the G700's calculated aircraft performance, the system provides both oral and visual alerts to recommend actions to pilots for managing aircraft energy during these critical phases of flight. The Symmetry flight deck is a pilot stream. The 500-600 uh, here at Gulfstream, the, uh, the chief designer took the chief test pilot, uh, Scott Martin, and the assistant chief test pilot, uh, Scott Evans, and said, design a cockpit 
by pilots for pilots. You can do whatever you like, and they designed the Symmetry flight deck. Our design philosophy is to make the cockpit simple, intuitive, air resistant, and fault tolerant. So in doing that, for example, all the uh, switches to start up the airplane are placed in the order that you need to uh, actuate them to start the airplane. We have phase of flight menus on the touch screens that actually organize the tasks in the order you need to do them to accomplish the checklist. The checklist itself is connected to the data concentration network and it knows when checklist steps are completed because it knows the state of the airplane. So a pilot has simply to accomplish the checklist items and then look at the checklist on the display to see if they're checked off. Building on its sustained investment in research and development over the past decade, Gulfstream is able to accelerate the certification process for the G700. Using ground test simulation equipment, engineering teams have been able to get a jump start in developing the cockpit and cabin even before the first flight of the new model, which is anticipated in the first half of 2020. I think it's going to stand alone. It certainly has the biggest cabin. It is certainly the most advanced. We really listen to our customers, so it's not just a bigger airplane in terms of the fourth living area. It's bigger all throughout the airplane. You get a fourth living area, you get a larger lavatory, you get a larger galley, you get a larger crew rest area. So you get that space everywhere. It wasn't just adding a fourth living zone. It was really changing the airplane to be the 700.